in this learning activity, we're going to look at um, the who, what, when, where, and why of course schedules. In some cases, faculty will combine the syllabus and the course schedule together. Uh, one thing that we recommend is to keep your syllabus generic, uh, for example, free of dates, uh, because when you uh, offer a new semester of your online course, the dates might be incorrect. And uh, students like to uh, see the syllabus sometimes before they even uh, sign up or access your online course. So we keep that very generic and we like to keep the course schedule uh, separate. Our OHCC syllabus has a schedule within it, but that's because it's a short course uh, with few course policies. Uh, one way of thinking about the difference between a syllabus and a course schedule is the syllabus um, talks about course policies, links to institutional policies, contains um, a commitment to, towards feedback and grading, points, those type of things, where the course schedule lays out uh, how the assignments will be uh, submitted and when they'll be submitted. So we have a course schedule here, and just to kind of give an overview um, as to why we'd want to use a course uh, schedule. Uh, we want to be able to tell the student each week what it is that we're going to cover in our online course and specifically how we're going to cover that in terms of activities. So in this schedule you'll see that we have each week separated out. Uh, we've added the dates to the schedule uh, leaving the syllabus generic. Uh, we've indicated what topic we're going to cover each week and this might be your course outcome and then the supporting objectives or the how we're going to accomplish um, our learning for that week. Over on the right is typically where we would list the assignments that are due for the week. Now we may uh, change this from semester to semester so we want the schedule to be in a format that would allow us to do that and um, the assignments aren't necessarily the same every week however some uh, uniformity or uh, rhythm to the course is beneficial. Uh, over here on the right we have um, pretty much a hybrid course where we meet, then we do some reading, we complete a learning activity, we participate on the discussion board, we submit some assignment and then we uh, post or upload a self-assessment. So one of the uh, questions that come up with course schedule is what format the course schedule should be in. This course schedule is in an HTML uh, or web-based format and it was created with an HTML editor but it could easily be created in Word and uh, then saved to an HTML format. One of the advantages of the HTML format is, that, as you can see, it appears within a browser on a web page without having to have uh, an external application to open it up with. Uh, it does sometimes make it more difficult to print out if it's uh, within the frame of Blackboard inside the browser. Um, one thing that you can do is also create a Word version or a PDF version to go along with the HTML version to give the students uh, different options. 